for starters. <clears throat> we got the um, cards that vend out here. They're driven by these two wheels, and there are two wheels because I wanted to pull the cards from the top and the bottom of the deck at the same time. Which is accomplished by this chain, and those tubes are on the chain because they help keep tension on it. And it does flex a bit. And those springs down there keep tension on the card deck. Uh, I found it best to actually have it in an angle like that because the cards not only fall down sideways, but they don't continue growing outward, which would be the effect you would see if you had them going out straight. Um, over here we have a piece of paper that keeps cards from getting snagged. Down here is a motor that turns the wheels that move the cards around, and that white gear right there uh, slips when a certain amount of force is um, felt on the inner piece. Which is great because when a card gets snagged once in a while it might happen on one of these knobby tires, which just would be better flat tires but I didn't have any. Um, it keeps it from damaging the card and allows it to still spin. The cards, of course, slide down here. That piece bends the cards a little bit towards going to where they need to go. And this piece is unique. It was my last addition to the machine. What it does is it basically spins around and it hits the cards before they have a chance, usually, of flipping over. Which may only happen once or twice during an entire card shuffle, but it's definitely worth it. That way none of the cards are upside down. And I tied it into the same gearing as the tires, and to reverse it I used a differential gear box here, which is great. Because it actually worked. <laughs> and all the cards then make their way to this box. Um, it's kind of hard to get them all perfectly lined up. I spent a lot of time on that, and then I realized it's not a big deal if they're a little bit crooked when they go in, because when you grab the deck, you probably could straighten it out in a matter of seconds. This part that shuffles the cards out, that bends the cards, is on a track. That way, it can bend some cards out of various spots. That way it's a little more random when they fall out and not just vending them all straight out into the area where the tires are and then they all just get shoved in here which would be a little less sh random and of course the tires go back and forth that way the cards kind of mix up a bit plus it helps them keep from getting stuck the program is relatively simple as you can see it is just a couple loops some motor sensors and some timers and that is my card shuffling machine.